Write the general form given its center, negative 4, 6, and radius 5. Same with problem number 1. To find the general form of the circle, given its center and radius, we first need to find the standard form of the circle. In this problem, the standard form of the circle is x plus 4 raised to 2 plus y minus 6 raised to 2 equals 5 squared, where h is equal to negative 4 and k equals 6. Replace h with negative 4 and simplify negative times negative 4 equals positive 4. Then, replace k by 6. Negative times positive 6 is negative 6. And substitute the radius, which is 5. So, 5 squared is 25. And so, we now have the standard form of the circle. To write its general form, we need to square the binomials. So, x plus 4 raised to 2 is equal to x plus 4 times x plus 4. Distribute x times x is x squared plus x times 4 is 4x plus 4 times x is 4x plus 4 times 4 is 16. Then we combine 4x so we have x squared plus 4x plus 4x is equal to 8x plus 16. So, x plus 4 raised to 2 is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Plus, expand y minus 6 raised to 2. And this is equal to y minus 6 times y minus 6. So, y times y is y squared. y times negative 6 is negative 6y. Then, negative 6 times y is negative 6y, and negative 6 times negative 6 is positive 36. Therefore, we have y squared combined negative 6y, thus we have negative 12y plus 36. So, y minus 6 raised to 2 is equal to y squared minus 12y plus 36 equals 25. Again, we just copy 25 kasi sinimplify na natin siya dito. Next is to arrange the terms following this form. x squared plus y squared plus dx plus ey plus f equals 0. First, we write x squared plus y squared. Then, dx or term with x variable. In this case, we have 8x. Next, term with y variable. So we have negative 12y. And then the constants. We have here 36 and 16. Combine them, so we have 52. 36 plus 16 is equal to 52. Then we transpose the constant 25 to the other side. And then simplify these constant terms. So 52 minus 25 is 27. And this is now the general form of the circle. Another solution is to solve for the value of d, e, and f. The center is at negative 4, 6, where h is equal to negative 4 and k is equal to 6, with r equals 5. So we solve for d, which is equal to negative 2h, where h is equal to negative 4. So, negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. So, d is equal to 8. Next, solve for e, which is equal to negative 2k. Replace k with 6 and simplify. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. And that is the value of e. Then, solve for f. We replace h with negative 4, k with 6, and r with 5. Simplify. Negative 4 squared is 16, plus 6 squared is 36, minus 5 squared, which is 25. So 16 plus 36 is 52, minus 25 is 27. Since we already have the value of d, e, and f, we can now write the general equation of the circle. Therefore, the equation is, we follow this form, we write x squared plus y squared, then the value of d, which is 8, then copy x, and then the value of e, 
which is negative 12, and copy y. And finally, the value of our constant f, which is positive 27, equals 0. So this is now the general form of the circle. x squared plus y squared plus 8x minus 12y plus 27 equals 0. So that is how you write the general equation of the circle, given its center and radius. First is to write the standard form of the circle and then square the binomials and rearrange the terms. Or another way is to solve for the value of d, e, and f. Either way, you can still arrive at the same answer. But what if the general equation is already given and we have to reduce it to its standard form? Like for example number 3. Reduce 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4x minus 12y plus 1 equals 0 to the standard form of the equation of a circle and find the center and radius. In this problem, given na ang general equation and we have to express this general form to its standard form. And how do we do that? So the given general equation is 4x squared plus 4y squared plus 4x minus 12y plus 1 equals 0. We have here numerical coefficient 4, and it is of this form. Now, kapag ganito ang kanyang equation at gusto natin bumalik sa standard form ni circle, we first have to divide each term through A, transpose the constant term to right side, and then complete the squares in X and Y. So we transpose the constant to the right side, kaya naging negative 1. Next is to divide each term by 4. Kasi 4 ang given value of a dito para maging x squared plus y squared na lamang ang first two terms. So we simplify, we cross out 4, we have x squared plus y squared plus x minus 12 divide 4 is 3. Then copy y equals negative 1 over 4 which is negative 1 fourth. So we have reduced the coefficients of the equation from this form to this form. x squared plus y squared na lamang ang first two terms. After we divide the equation and transpose the constant term, we can now complete the squares in x and y. So how to complete the square? First, we collect all x's and y's. So collect muna natin ang lahat ng x equation. So we have x squared plus x. Next, yung mga y. We have y squared minus 3y, which is equal to negative 1 fourth. Now, in completing the square, we add or subtract the square of half the coefficient of x or y to both sides of the equation, then factor the expression. Una muna, let us complete the square in x. We copy x squared plus x. Now, to complete the square in x, we follow this rule square of half the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x in this equation is 1. Let's follow the rule. Square of half, 1 half, the coefficient of x, which is 1. We simplify. 1 half times 1 is 1 half, and 1 half squared is 1 fourth. 1 raised to 2 is 1. 1 times 1 is still 1. 2 raised to 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. So therefore, we write here plus 1 fourth. Kung anong nakuha natin dito, yun din ang ilalagay natin dito sa expression ni x. Plus, let's complete the square in y. The same process, we follow this rule. Square of half the coefficient of, this time, we're completing the square of y. We copy y squared minus 3y and then apply the rule. The coefficient of y is negative 3. So square of half the coefficient of y, which is negative 3. And this is equal to 1 half times negative 3 is negative 3 halves. So negative 3 halves squared is positive 9 over 4. Negative 3 squared is positive 9 and 2 squared is 4. So we write here plus 9 fourth equals, we copy, negative 1 fourth. Then after that, we add the square of half the coefficient of x and y to both sides of the equation. 
whatever you add on the left side, you must add it on the other side. We add her 1 fourth, we must add it on the other side. Also, we add her 9 fourth, we must also not forget to add it on the other side. Kung ano ang dinagdag natin dito, ay ilalagay din natin sa kabila. Then, we factor the expression on the left side and simplify the right side of the equation. Let us first factor the expression. Ano ang ilalagay natin dito kay x? So that, when we square it, we will get back to this expression. There's a technique for that. Nakuha natin si 1 fourth by squaring half the coefficient of x, right? So if we're not going to square the half of coefficient of x, we only get positive 1 half. At itong value na ito, ang ilalagay natin dito. If we square or expand this expression, we will get this result. So you can use that technique. Or pwede naman, kahit wala ito, tignan mo lang ang coefficient ni x at i-divide mo sa 2. Since ang coefficient ni x dito ay positive 1, pag walang nakalagay, meaning it is 1, kunin natin ang kalahati niya or i-divide natin sa 2. Kaya naging positive 1 half. Kasi ang half ng 1 ay 1 half. Plus, let's factor the y expression. Anong ilalagay natin dito? So that when we square it, we will get back to this expression. What is our technique? Kukunin natin ang half ng coefficient ni y. The coefficient of y is negative 3. Divided by 2, that is why we have negative 3 over 2. So ang ilalagay natin dito when we factor out x and y ay ang half ng coefficient ni x at ni y. Dito naman, Nakuha natin si 1 fourth at si 9 fourth by squaring half of its coefficient. Take note also of the sign. When we factor out, we follow the sign of their coefficient. Positive dito si 1 at dinivide natin sa 2 kaya naging positive 1 half. Negative dito si 3 and we divide it by 2 kaya naging negative 3 halves. Dito, palagi silang positive kasi we need to take its square or raise it to power of 2. Remember, positive times positive equals positive and negative times negative is also equal to positive. At wag na wag kakalimutan na ilagay sa right side ang anumang value na nilagay dito sa left side. Okay? And so this is equal to, let's simplify the right side of the equation. Negative 1 fourth plus 1 fourth is 0. Or we can just cross it out. We are then left with 9 fourth. And this is the standard form of the circle. And from this, we can now identify the center and radius. Thus, the center is at negative 1 half and positive 3 halves. Remember, pag positive siya inside the expression, magiging negative. At kung negative, magiging positive, okay? And the value of r squared is equal to 9 fourth. To find the value of r, we take the square root of 9 fourth, which is equal to 3 halves. Square root of 9 is 3 and square root of 4 is 2. So that's it.